Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the governor spring on your engine, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. We recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Now loosen the rope guide wing nut and remove the starter rope. Use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the bolts securing the blower housing cover. Lift off the cover. Lift the fuel tank off of the housing. Note the orientation of the governor's spring and detach the old spring if still intact. Install the new governor spring by hooking the short end onto the bracket and the long end onto the governor lever. Realign the fuel tank tabs with the slots in the blower housing and snap the tank into place. Replace the blower housing cover, then thread and tighten the bolts to secure. Depress the bail arm, extend the starter rope, and hook the rope on the guide. Tighten the rope guide wing nut. With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, refill the fuel tank, and your engine should be ready for use.